Welcome to FontStruct.com. This is the website or app that I'm going to be using for my uh, digital unit that we're going to be working with. My students are going to be concentrating on language and FontStruct is actually going to be used to end our unit. Uh, students are going to go through and develop their own font that they will then be able to upload, uh, well download and upload uh, to, to various uh, places for various uses. So the way we're going to start is I've already gone through and signed in, you can see here, and I'm going to go to where it says My Font Struct. This is kind of the, the home page of the entire website. So I go to My Font Struct, and it's going to give me a couple of options. We're going to go through and we're going to click Font Structions because I already have a font that is in usage. Um, and you'll see it right here, Mama Bird. Uh, Frankie is not mine, <clears throat> although I do appreciate this font. Okay, so we're going to click Mama Bird. And it's going to go through, and I have a couple of options. I can go in and I can continue to edit. I can publish it, download it, etc., etc., right? So I'm going to go to Font Struct, and it's going to pull up what I have so far. Um, this is a very, very easy, easy, easy to use. Uh, construction website. Um, it lays everything out in very, very basic language as far as, you know, how you you navigate your, your digital alphabet. So if you look right here, we can go through, these are all of the, the letters for your font. You've got uh, the numbers, the characters, everything. Okay. Um, you can also go through and you can select um, the type of alphabet that you are dealing with. I haven't experimented much with this option um, other than I know that it goes through and it changes the characters down here. So as you can see, we're in basic Latin. Okay. Uh, Fontstruct is really great because it is a basic, uh, I don't want to say point and click, but essentially a basic point and click uh, kind of layout. So uh, as you can see here, I've gone through and I have created my A, which I really need to get rid of this tail, uh, a B, C, D, and E. Okay, and these are all very rough, uh, not necessarily finalized. Um, you can also see that you've got several things to work with. We've got what are my bricks, which means these are all options that I have clicked on and I have used. Um, in some way, shape, or form. And then you have all bricks. And these are all of the various point and click tools that are available to fill these squares over here uh, to create your letters. Okay, these tools, you can move this menu should you choose to. You've got your pencil, your eraser. This allows you to uh, create rectangles rather than coming over here and using these. Okay, this allows you to draw lines. And if you notice, if you hover <clears throat> around it, it will tell you uh, exactly what it is you are working with, okay? So I'm gonna click this tool real quick and it says collect, selects bricks for copy and paste, all right? And so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna highlight this. So I know that my letter has been uh, selected because it turns blue. One thing I don't like is you don't have a right click option with your mouse, uh, which is something that I really love. Um, I know that many of you are Mac users, so you're used to not having a right click, but uh, right click is uh, is one of the, the little little joys of my life, and I, I don't have it right now. So to copy and paste, you go through, you select, <clears throat> and then you go to Menu, Edit, and I'm going to go to Copy because I don't want to actually cut the pixels. So now that it's copied, I'm going to go to the letter F. I'm going to go back to Menu, Edit, and I'm going to Paste. Okay, so what this has done is it goes through and obviously pastes the letter that I was working on. All right, and the reason that I do this is it gives me <clears throat> that basic structure that I have been working with throughout this font construction. Um, if you go through, you'll notice that all of my letters are primarily the, the same height, um, same width, same everything, and that uh, works with the idea of you know a unified font structure. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to select my eraser tool because obviously there are parts of the letter E that I am not going to use for the letter F. All right, and it's literally as easy <clears throat> as going through and clicking your mouse. Okay, so I'm going to go through. Okay, so I already have, boop, basic structure for my F. All right, showed you the erase tools. Now we're going to get our pencil tool. And our pencil tool, 
we're going to go over here and we're going to go to my bricks and we can go through and we can select whatever bricks it is that we want to go through and use. Um, one of the frustrations I have found with this and I don't know what causes it is sometimes I'll choose something like this. Okay. Um, and I think it's if you don't double click, it stays on the solid brick tool. Okay. And this isn't the brick I want, but we're going to see if, uh, if I'm right about the double click. Okay, so the double click has allowed me to go through and in fact to grab this. And like I said, sometimes if you don't double click, it stays on this solid brick. Okay, which right now I want the solid brick. So I'm going to click that. Okay, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to figure out how many, you know, clicks wide I want everything. And I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, okay, do I need this to be these two clicks? And that's the beauty of this is I can go through and I can select back to my E and it will still save the work that I've done on my F, as long as I don't navigate away from this general page. Like if I had gone up here and gone to gallery, that you know would be a whole nother bag of worms. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my F. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this, this flat for now. Okay, and then I can go in and I can add these, these soft little transitioners. Okay, so I can come here, soft little transitioner, click it in, there you go. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this is a, a super, super easy program to use. I'm very, very happy with it. And the great thing I like about it is it doesn't require a, a lot of pre-knowledge or computer skill per se. I have a lot of students who sometimes struggle just to, to copy and, and paste things or even just to open a new document. Um, which always astounds me because, you know, they can fly around their smartphone like it's nobody's business. Um, so when I'm done, uh, you know, you want to make sure, obviously, you go up to save. Okay, it saves your work. Um, and then you can see that it gives you the option to download or preview. Well, I'm not ready to download, so I'm not going to do that. But I am going to go to preview. Okay, and it goes through and it shows me exactly what I have created thus far as a font layout. And so I can go in and I can type my letters. And I don't have a lowercase, so you can see how it backtracked. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make sure I have a capital B. And as long as I'm typing letters that I've created, it will go through and it will digitally type them out for me. Um, so that is, you know, it's kind of awesome. It's awesome to be able to interact directly with work that you've created. Uh, the idea behind this, and I'm going to just kind of go back, uh, if for nothing else, to, you know, create interest and not have you stare at a blank screen. Uh, the beauty behind this is that my students are then going to be able to not only have a, a digital portfolio of their work, but they will be able to contribute to websites such as defont.com. And if you've never been to defont.com, you should really check it out. Um, and this is a website that my students will go through and use for uh, the short uh, assignment that you will see on my blog this week. Uh, so I hope that you have enjoyed or learned a little something new about Fontstruct. And I look forward to uh, sharing with you a, a downloadable font by the end of this, uh, this course. Thanks.